Okay, this tutorial is on some of the features in the program that affect photo editing. And this is uh, for Home Inspector Pro 3. So I'm going to go up into Report Settings, go to Options, and I'm going to click on Picture Editing. Now, there's a bunch of new features we've added here. For example, Swap with Red and Black. This is the photo slideshow layout, the appearance when editing the report. So there's three options here. We can turn this off. We can set photos to show to the right of the red or black comments or swap with red or black. What this is setting, let me go into the program and I'm going to look at a few of these photos and I'm going to insert them in the report. So I'm going to put this to the grounds vegetation observation section. I'll put this one to grounds driveway walkway. This one is uh, exterior areas, window condition. I'm just slotting photos exterior areas, picking the page and the item that each of these photos should show up in. Now if I go into the program, outside house, exterior areas, windows, there's a button when I say swap with red black was the option I just chose that says show photos. By clicking this it's toggling the photo view on and off. So now these are the photos I just set to show up in this section. The other option was right of red and black. Now the, the swap is great for smaller screens, especially tablets on site. The right of red black, what that's actually going to do is include our normal comments, our black and red comments, and the photos at all times. So we'll be able to see our pictures at any time. We can scroll up or down if we want to. So you choose the be best option depending on your screen size and what you're the most comfortable with. Let's go back and look at some of the other options here. Uh, the default line thickness for all our shapes when we're editing the photos, uh, the default's five. You can make the lines thinner or thicker, depending on what you like. The default color for the arrows, uh, some guys love using uh, yellow for everything, some want to use red, whatever your favorite color is. This is just the default. So if I change this to, um, let's say, a red, for example, and now I go edit a photo, by default, it's going to be red. Now, I can always go and change the color just for that one use. There we go. And I can choose the color. And now this is the color my arrow is going to be. So that's just affecting the default color. Now, I can. there's a bunch of other options here. Go back to picture editing. The text on the photo, this is if you're drawing text directly over the photo, not the captions. You can choose the background color of the text, and then you can actually change the font of the text that's going to appear on top. So if I go back and edit this photo and click on Add Text, I can say Water Damage on South Side Window. And notice that yellow with the red background is what I had selected. So go back to that option section, picture editing. Do we want to use the text highlight? That's the background color when we're writing on a photo. That's just the default again. Number of photos across. So do you want two photos to show across on the actual report, or do you want three photos to show across? Um, personally, I like the two photos across, but some of the guys, when they use a lot of photos, they want to use three across because the, they're going to reduce the overall length of the report. The photo quality. Uh, there's a, a default here. The two is the default for the two across. Um, that's that's the middle quality. The higher the quality you set, the larger the PDF file will become. So unless you're doing some litigation stuff, you want the quality to be super high, just leave that on two. If you're doing the three across, it goes to three just because the pictures are so much smaller. It doesn't affect the report size that much. But you can adjust both of those. You can also add border borders around photographs now. So I can say I want a, a two pixel blue border around all my photos and then specifically the cover photo I want a red border around. And now if I go and I generate my report, I'm going to give it a test name here, we're going to see these borders showing up on the physical report. Okay, so you can see I set that red border on the cover, it shows up right there. And if I go down to, let's see, which photos was I doing in the exterior area? 
here's the blue photo, the blue borders I added around these exterior area photos. So this is set to two across. There's a photo I was editing. And notice that one of the nice things about PDF files is that no matter what your, your zoom is, how large your screen is, these photos are always going to expand to full screen. And that's one of the nice things about having a PDF report over a web-based report. And we can zoom in more and more and look at this text, look at the images, and you can see that it's still crisp. The program now is actually set up, so even if you zoom in a couple hundred percent, your pictures are still going to be pretty crisp. And that's because with larger monitors, the percentage actually is going to be higher. Uh, when you're doing a, a printed report, it's always the equivalent of 100%. So that's our, um, our notes here on new photo editing features. Um, if you have any more questions on that, just click on Help Desk on our website or email us at help at homeinspectorpro.com.